that's a lake with floating grass on top of it. And the tops of trees are coming out of the surface of the water. And so we start walking across this and it was me, JJ, and one of his brothers. JJ's going, these are big anacondas. And I'm going, JJ, that's a two foot wide smooth path snaking through the grass. There's no anaconda that big. He was going, shh, they're listening. I said, they don't have ears. Maybe it's like 1 a.m. or something. We are standing by the tail and the snake was so big. I mean, this must have been a 25 foot anaconda dead asleep with a probably a 16 foot anaconda like sprawled across her. They just said, if we could somehow show people this, we'll be on the front cover of National Geographic and we can protect all the jungle that we want. And so I tried to catch it. So I jumped on the snake and the only measurement I have of this animal is that when I wrapped my arms around it, I couldn't touch my fingers.